Good afternoon, Trailblazers. Welcome to another Vanguard TV. Here's Mona Lane with our LT Band. Hi, Trailblazers. This is Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. On February 7th, our LTHS band students performed for their Midwinter concert. The Midwinter Band Concert is a concert that we have every year in February where we get to go and play really fun music that gets us prepared for UIL. The Midwinter Band Concert was a time where we got to showcase all of the stuff we've been working on. We perform from the bottom band up to the top band. All of the bands perform with fourth band performing first and top band performing last. We've been preparing since the beginning of the semester and so we've had about a month for it. Um, we did get music before break, but we mostly only had a month. So uh, we've been preparing since the holiday break. Um, the next one that we have is pre-UIL and then after that UIL and those are going on in March and April and then Top Band gets to go and record for State which is going to be decided over the summer. We have Solon Ensemble this Saturday and we're about to pr start preparing for UIL. I felt like it went really really well. I was impressed by everybody and how they did. It was a really really cool concert. We got to look, hear a lot of really fun stuff. We got to wear festive clothing and stuff to make it more fun. Um, it was a good experience. It's different from last year's because now we have four bands and so there's like a lot more music that gets to be played and we get to hear a lot more literature and everyone gets to have a lot of fun. This has been Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. Good afternoon, Trailblazers. I'm Alyssa Young with the Vanguard TV. Last year, Dominique Luque and I went around the school and asked people about Pi Day. We got some pretty interesting answers. So this year, I decided to do this again with Julie Lyon. Do you know why Pi Day's on March 14th? Zachary Widener sure didn't. Because it's the 14th month of the third day, making the date 314. No. <laughs> Let's check back in to see if Zach knows the answer now. Why do you think Pi Day is on March 14th? Because it's the 14th day of the third month, not the 14th month of the third day. Do you know why Pi Day is on March 14th? Because uh, it's the third month of the year and on the 14th day of March. Yes. <laughs> so it's three and then 14th is like 14th, you know, one four. So it's three, one four. Point one four. You know what I'm talking about. Because it's th three fourteen, right? Because that's the first three digits of pi. Yeah, because March 14th. Yeah. 314. Oh! <laughs> How many digits of pi do you know? None. I wish I was joking. I thought we were talking about, like, the food. <laughs> 3.14. That's it. Julie, how many digits of pi do you know? 3.14159265. I took math for the arts major. I'm going to go with three. <laughs> three. What are the three digits? Um, John 3.16. There we go. 3.14159265. Five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four. Stop nine. feeding me the answers. <laughs> three point one four. <laughs> three point one four one five nine two six. Some something. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight. Th but I just literally just gave out my phone password. I don't know what I'm doing here, but okay. What do you think the world record is for the amount of pi digits memorized? Like a hundred, I don't know. Eighty. A thousand. One hundred and twenty-seven. Fifty? Fifty? No, it's over one hundred. I know that. I don't know. One hundred fifty-six or something like that. It's seventy thousand. Oh, sh I bet it's high, like fifty. It's seventy thousand. <laughs> 70,000. Did you see my screen or do you remember it from last year? I remember it from last year. Yay! Does your phone lock me uh -huh. I remember it from last year. Dang! What is pi used to calculate? I have no idea. It's the circumference of a circle. I'm sorry, math teachers, I'm trying. 
the circumference of a, a circle. Circles like circumference and radius. I have no idea. It's the circumference of a circle. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's like circle stuff. I'm making, I'm making Coach Ruckman proud right now. Uh, I think it's radius and circumference. It's the circumference of a circle. That one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, You know what I was talking about. I know what you're talking about. The circumference of a circle. Precisely. Why do you think so many people try to memorize pi? Lack of self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're either trying to like learn it for math purposes or just for fun. I mean, I think it can just be like a fun math skill. Like if you're trying to memorize, like challenge yourself in memorizing things, you can just try and memorize pi. I think it's just like a fifth grade phase where it's like, you kind of just like memorize pi and you're automatically the smartest student in the school. But I think it's to prove that they're not idiots. If you can memorize things, then it, like that can be like something you overcome. Like, okay, I'm not this dumb, I swear. So like you name things, you know? Yeah, I mean like I know a lot of pi, but I'm still an idiot, I mean. <laughs> No! I like pie. Thanks for watching. I'm Julie Lyon with the Vanguard TV. And I'm Alyssa Young with the Vanguard hey, TV. Hey, Alyssa, what's a pie? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is this shaving cream? We're kind of on a low budget. <laughs> I kind of hate you now. <laughs> I'm never doing another segment with you again. <laughs> this has been Alyssa Young with the Vanguard TV. No! Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to LT Trivia. Each broadcast will present a trivia question for your chance to win a prize. February is a month where we honor America's black history and celebrate love. Who is a creator of Black History Month and what year did it start in? To enter, go to lthsvanguard.com and complete the Google form for your chance to win an Andy's two free concrete gift card. The winner will be randomly selected from the correct answer submissions. The winner of our last trivia was Maxwell Barth. Congratulations. The Spanish Club here at Lebanon Trail is brand new this year and is helping students enhance their knowledge of Spanish culture. Open to Spanish students of any skill level, the club explores elements like holidays, history, and media. But why did the co-presidents decide to start the club? I started Spanish Club because I'm very passionate about languages and Spanish is my first foreign language that I've learned and um, I just really wanted to share the culture and also the language with other people. I really wanted to like expand and um, my knowledge about Spanish culture outside of the classroom and I knew that some people wanted to do it as well. Spanish Club meets a few times a month, mostly during Mega Lunch in Senora Ray's room. They participate in a variety of Spanish-based activities, like learning about Spanish holidays and countries, and watching movies like Coco. Members of the club are getting the chance to learn more than they could in their regular Spanish classes. Even if you're not taking Spanish, or if you are taking Spanish, there's only so much that you can learn in the classroom, and I think it's really good if you're learning Spanish, or if you just want to learn about another culture, to really immerse yourself in the culture and learn about um, the lives of people that speak Spanish in other countries. It really helps people learn more about how a certain culture thinks, and it, it's really inspirational, I think, that you want to actually go and learn Spanish instead of just memorizing a bunch of words. I joined Spanish Club because I like to like speak Spanish, and it's interesting to me. So I joined Spanish Club because, like, I like learning Spanish. We are looking forward to seeing what Spanish Club will do for our students all year. They have some fun things planned. Reporting for Vanguard TV, I'm Camden Cahoon. Thank you for watching. If you have any story or segment ideas, please visit our website, lthsvanguard.com. With Vanguard TV, this is Christina Emanuel. Have a great day, Blazers.